When I was 19 years old, I encountered God's healing power. At that time in my life, I was uh, dealing with a lot of depression. I was sad, disappointed at life and different people. I remember feeling this void and emptiness inside of me and not knowing how to deal with it. And I also would experience a lot of loneliness in my life. One day before going out to drink, because in those days that's what I did. I would go out and drink and party as a way to sort of medicate myself, to put up with the feeling that I, I was trying to avoid that was deep in me. This sense of missing something, this nothingness that I felt. So before I went out one, of the, one night, I remember hearing my family in the kitchen praying the rosary. And for some reason I decided to stay. I decided to, instead of going out and drink again, go into the kitchen and pray with my family. And so I did, I, I sat down in the kitchen with my family and I closed my eyes for one second. And I had this powerful, powerful supernatural encounter with God. So the first thing that happened in this vision was I, I, I found myself stuck at the bottom of this pit. And the, the, what I realized was that I couldn't move my feet I was stuck, and then next thing you know, there's uh, all the, the, this huge pile of dirt and just this material just being dropped into the bottom of the pit and start, it, it started covering me from top, bottom to top. And at that moment, I, I, I realized I was going to die. I was going to suffocate. I was going to be buried alive and die. And so I remember feeling like the, the material, this dirt was covering me up and it covered my face. And I reached up uh, to try to get a hold of something to, to get out of the, the pit and I couldn't, I didn't find anything there. And I remember feeling how the dirt completely covered my hand even though it was extend, extended up. And at that moment, after a few seconds of being underground, I yelled out interiorly from bottom of my heart in desperation Lord Jesus help me in that moment when I yelled that out inside of me I first saw this splendor this light it was so so, so bright that it would out, actually pierce through the mud and my very closed eyes I was aware of this and the next thing you know this hand grabbed my hand and pulled me out of the pit it pulled me out this hand that pulled me out then placed me outside of the pit, outside of this hole, and placed me on level ground. And at that moment I realized, oh, I think this is the Lord Jesus who just got me out of, the, 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 of this pit. Next thing you know, He comes, He embraces me, He cleanses me, and then He steps back. And I didn't, there was never any words, but I could interpret, I could understand what He was saying without any words in this experience. And then he just, I was looking at him, I couldn't see his face because it was so radiant. And he just pointed down with his hand onto the ground. And I looked down and if, 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 it, if it, it was as if he was saying, you were so focused on this world that you forgot about what's here. And then he pointed up and when he pointed out, I looked up and I found myself in this new place. It was a place of joy, glory, just beauty, light. It, it was more than a place, it was sort of a state. And I was lost in this experience. And next thing you know, the Lord taps me on the shoulder and I feel like He was saying, okay, you've had enough of this experience and it's time to go back. And then He points down on the ground I look down again and I see myself in the kitchen of my house, around the table, my family praying the rosary and me sitting on the seat where I was and it looked like I had passed out or was sleeping. And then the Lord just went like this. So I went back into myself. When I woke up, my, I was crying and I told my mom about this. I didn't know how to explain this experience. And then she invited me to go to this prayer meeting at church. Like a good mother, she took advantage of that moment to get me and guide me into the Father, into, into God. 
And so she invited me to this prayer meeting, and I went to this prayer meeting a couple of weeks after that. And I experienced, after being prayed over, total healing from my depression. I, I felt like I was a new person. I also had some physical problems. I, I was hurt, and the pain had gone away. And I, I was a new person. And I, the other thing I experienced is that this burning desire to live and to share the message and the healing power of God with other people. So I just encourage you to pray to our God, to our Lord Jesus Christ, for whatever need and whatever is on your heart. Talk to Him. Give Him permission. Give Him a chance. Open up to Him. Amen.